The world is in the grip of the COVID-19 pandemic. We desperately need public health measures that can reduce the risk of infection and deaths, in addition to quarantines. In this video we are going to talk about how vitamin D has become a useful measure to reduce the risk of COVID-19. By the way, if you haven't subscribed us yet, hit the subscribe button right now for more amazing videos like this, and click the bell icon and make sure you won't miss any updates. A study done in Chicago has shown that more than half of COVID-19 cases and around 70% of COVID-19 deaths were observed in African-American individuals who are at the greater risk for vitamin D deficiency. Through several mechanisms, vitamin D can reduce risk of infections. Basically, we can categorize these mechanisms into three parts. Physical barrier, cellular natural immunity, and adaptive immunity. Those mechanisms include inducing catholicidins and defensins that can lower viral replication rates and reducing concentrations of pro-inflammatory cytokines that produce the inflammation that injures the lining of the lungs, leading to pneumonia, as well as increasing concentrations of anti-inflammatory cytokines. Now let's look at this bit closely. During innate immunity, the macrophages which engulf and destroy bacteria and viruses first connect with coronavirus through its surface receptors. At the same time the vitamin D receptors in the macrophages get activated. Now we know, the most common circulating form of vitamin D which is 25-hydroxyvitamin D is converted to active form of vitamin D which is 125-dihydroxyvitamin D in the kidney. But other than kidney, macrophages too have this capability to form the active form of vitamin D. Now this 125-dihydroxyvitamin D makes catholicidins and defensins through vitamin D receptors. SARS-CoV-2 is an enveloped virus, and it has surface receptors. The defensins which made through the mediation of vitamin D, pass through these receptors and make pores on the surface of the virus particle and destroy it. On the other hand, catholicidins induce chemotaxis, where it increases the macrophage's function towards the virus particle. Catholicidins increases the vascular permeability and increase the immune response. And they have the ability to increase the amount of T-cells and B-cells in response to the viral attack. All of these mechanisms trigger with adequate amounts of vitamin D in the body. But sadly, as COVID-19 pandemic, vitamin D deficiency is also a global pandemic. And vitamin D deficiency is most prevalent among elderly, obese and smoking individuals, who are the most vulnerable groups for COVID-19 infection. Therefore, to reduce the risk of infection, it is recommended that people at risk of getting COVID-19 consider taking 10,000 international units of vitamin D per day for a few weeks to rapidly raise 25-hydroxyvitamin D concentrations, followed by 5,000 international units per day. So, it's better to keep 100 to 150 nanomole per liter of vitamin D level in the body in order to prevent not only from COVID-19, but also from other infections, diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular diseases.